Hey guys, super quick tutorial here. I just wanted to show you guys how I was able to download all of my Twitch clips with just a few clicks. Before this, I was just going through the Twitch video producer and just trying to download all the clips individually, and it was just a mess. This method is way better. I'm sure there's multiple ways to do this, but the way that I did it was with two different apps, twitchanz.com and Simple Mass Downloader. twitchanz.com is just a website, and Simple Mass Downloader is a Chrome extension. So you go to twitchanz.com, and this is what it looks like. There should be a login thing on the top left here. Um, and then once you're logged in, go to this clip search tool. Um, you can see I'm already logged in. Uh, from here, you're going to choose two dates, uh, a from date and a to date. So let's say I wanted to go all the way back to 2022 when I started streaming. You can go to, I started in September, and then to today, and then you're going to hit search. Oh, also you have to put in your username, duck boxing, and then you're going to hit search, and it's going to search these time frames for all of the clips that were made in between these two dates. I'm gonna think for a little bit. All right, and then once it's done thinking, you can see total clips 7,251. Here's all of the clips. Um, so now what you can do is you can hit export data and it's gonna give you a text document with all of the clips as links. You can see this is what the text document looks like. It's just all of these MP4 links. So now what you're gonna do as you're going to go into Simple Mass Downloader, it's a Chrome extension. So I already added it, but you're going to add it, add this Chrome extension to your browser. When you open it up, this is what it looks like on the top right here. So you're going to go to your text document, Control A, Control C to copy it all, every single link, and then you go back to the extension, and you can Control V. It's going to drop in all of the links, 37 pages of links here. Uh, when you paste it in here, make sure you're on this resource list tab. So once you have all the links in the resource list, you're going to check them all by checking that checkbox on the top left. And then you're going to hit add to active queue, and then it'll start downloading them. You can see it's downloading them up here on the right. Just uh, It usually downloads them in sets of three until everything from the list is downloaded. Now one of the things that you have to remember <clears throat> is the default location where the browser is going to download them, so you can set that in your browser settings. Um, you should be able to search for download. So I'm in Edge and I just search for download and here you can change the location of where downloads are saved. Um, and then if you have, have anything like this, like ask me what to do with each download or confirm before each download or something like that, you want to make sure that's checked off so you're not getting a dialog box every time that the browser tries to download, but other than that, you should be good to go. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more videos like this.